This moment encapsulates a challenge doctors face on a weekly basis. Neurosurgeons in the province of Ontario get over 20,000 urgent calls per year from, from uh, outside hospitals that don't have neurosurgical support. Dr. Chris Witu is reading a brain scan of a patient in another city. A nurse holds the phone to his ear in order to maintain sterility. The surgical team stands by during the emergency consult, waiting to get back to the patient on the table. The calls were quite extensive. They're quite overwhelming. I think a lot of emergency physicians are trained in being able to recognize when there is a, a bleed in someone's brain, right? But the challenge is, is does that brain bleed need emergent neurosurgical care? And many of the times referrals are actually things that maybe could have waited, but seem to be urgent at the time. And so just uh, as an example, about 80% of the referrals probably could have waited. The team at St. Michael's Hospital in Toronto built an AI model to help make those preliminary decisions dubbed assist TBI. Radiologist Dr. Errol Kolek explains. So this tool is trained with thousands of head CT scans. We want this to run in the background, automatically process CT scans, and if a patient is triaged as someone who needs urgent neurosurgical intervention, we want this to, to basically uh, be a, a, an automated alert for the physicians. The model isn't meant to replace doctors. Instead, it's designed to catch brain bleeds that could go undetected. The team says the results speak for themselves. This uh, tool was compared to board certified uh, neurosurgeons and actually performed as well uh, and maybe even slightly better than the uh, neurosurgeons in identifying uh, neurosurgical bleeds. Mohamed Mandani says it has the potential to save lives. One in 10 to one in 20 bleeds are routinely missed. One in 10 to one in 20 bleeds. That shouldn't happen. We need these algorithms in community hospitals, in smaller centers that don't have the specialist resources that we do. The team believes the technology could be expanded to screen for bleeds in other organs too. But for now, the next step is for the model to be tested at another hospital before seeking Health Canada approval for a wider rollout. Catherine Ward, Global News, Toronto.